Okay, here's a second way to do really fast subtraction. Um, we're going to go from left to right as opposed to how they normally teach out here in the west, which is going from right to left. Um, so what we do is we're going to look at this first, first column here, uh, 7 minus 6. So normally what we do is we uh, write a 1 down here, um, but then we need to look at the second column next to it. And we see that the number on the bottom is bigger than the number on the top. So what we're going to do is instead of writing a 1, we're just going to drop that digit by 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. And we're going to carry it up, up here up top. So now we have 15 minus 7. Uh, 15 minus 7, we know that's 8. But before we write down the 8, we're going to look at the next column over and see if the bottom number is bigger than the top number. We could see that that's not the case, so we could go ahead and write in the number 8. And then the next column, 8 minus 3. Well, we know that's 5, uh, but we look over to the column next to it, and we see that the number on top is bigger, so we could go ahead and write out 5. Um, 9 minus 6 is 3. 9 minus 6, that's going to be 3. But instead of writing a 3, we look over to the next column, and we see the number on bottom is bigger than the number on top. So instead of writing a 3, we're going to write the next number down from 3, which is 2, and carry that 1 up here. So 12 minus 8 gives us 4. So this is a different way of doing uh, subtraction than how we learn out here in the West. I'll give you an, another example. Using the same method, let's start from the left and move to the right. So 1 minus 1 is 0. We can go ahead and write that down uh, because we look at the next column over and we see that the number on top is bigger than the number on bottom. So 0. Uh, 4 minus 2 is 2. But we look over to the next column and we see that the, uh, the 7 is bigger than the 6. So instead of writing down 2, we're going to write down 1. And that other 1 is going to be carried up here. Now 16 minus 7, we know that's 9. But we look over to the next column we see that we need to borrow one. So 16 minus 7 is 9. We're not going to write 9. We're going to write 8. Carry the 1. 18 minus 9 is 9. Uh, we look over to the next column. We need to borrow one. So instead of writing 9, we're going to write an 8. Carry the 1. 13 minus 4 is 9. Uh, we could go ahead and write that one, write it down directly because uh, we look over the next column. We don't need to borrow. So 6 minus 5 is 1. So we don't need to borrow. 9 minus 8 is 1, but we need to borrow, so we're going to write a 0 and carry that 1. And 12 minus 3 is 9. Super fast way. Let's do another example. Okay, starting from the left and going right, let's say 5 minus 4, that's 1. We don't need to borrow anything. 5 minus 5 is 0. Uh, but look, if we write a 0, we need to borrow for this, for this column here. So in this case, uh, how do we borrow from this 10? Well, we're just going to uh, subtract 1 and make that a 9. Carry that 1 up here. 18 minus 9, that gives us a 9. Uh, but we need to borrow, so we write an 8. Borrow 1. 16 minus 7, that's 9. Uh, looks like we could write that down because we don't need to borrow anything for here. 8 minus 1 is 7. Oh, but we need to borrow. So... 8 minus 1, we're going to write a 6, carry that extra 1 up top. 14 minus 5, that gives us 9. But we need to borrow, because we can see here we need to borrow. So instead of writing a 9, we're going to write an 8. Next number down from 9, carry that extra 1 up top. 12 minus 6 will give us 6. And do we need to borrow anything? Nope. So we could just go ahead and write that down, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So here's our answer. Uh, I think this is a better way than how we're taught to do it out west. Um, and the simple reason is that uh, if you have just a, you know, something like this. Out here in the west, we're taught, you know, that you need to cross things out. And they start from the, the right and go left. So, you know, 9 minus 2 is 7. You say, oh, 2 minus 3, you can't do that. So we're going to cross out this 1, put a 1 here. I don't like all this crossing things out as you're going along. It makes it, mess, makes it messy. It makes it harder to go back. 
you know, if we got this problem up here, if, uh, if we got this answer wrong, it's real easy just to erase these, erase these little marks. And it's not difficult to see what the original problem was, you know, because we're not crossing things out as we go along. We're not crossing numbers out. So I think it's a lot neater, a lot less messy. It's easier to, to reevaluate your problem if you got it wrong. Well, I hope this guy this help helps you guys out with some basic subtraction. Okay, thanks for watching.